Hi guys, Elliot here. I'm going to show you exactly how to use circular pattern feature. So you might want to start uh, building something like a gasket with bolt holes. Um, so if we go to the top plane and we start sketch and we just make a circle, just select from up here, start at the origin and give it a dimension click and say 100 and emboss it up so boss space uh, in this case we're going to do it with thin feature make it 20 and we're going to say OK and then we're going to sketch on this face sketch uh, we're going to make a circle up to that circle drag that out so smart dimension I'm just going to make that 5 and then we're going to emboss that up just 10mm so it does that by default so it's kind of a gasket looking thing so now if we just look at it straight on so using my view cube click there, we're going to head on and on this selected face now, we're just going to sketch our whole so sketch, another circle. Uh, if you hover over the origin vertically, it will just put it exactly that way. And you can kind of drop that anywhere. We're going to give it smart dimension. We're going to give it a dimension of 3 mil. And then we're going to cut that hole. So features, extrude cut, and it's by default it's going to go 10 mil, which is enough to go through the whole thing. So we just say yeah, and we've got a through hole. And all we want to do now is we want to circular pattern it around. So we've got 10 holes equally distributed. So if we go up to the linear pattern and we use the drop down. We've got the circular pattern here, so click that. Now it wants to know the direction, so where is the circle that is going around? So you can do that with a sketch, but in this case it'd just be quicker just to select the edge so it knows that it's going around this circle. And we've got uh, equal spacing, so 360 degrees, so it's going to go all the way around the circle, and it's just going to use three copies but we want 10 so we change that to 10 and then it's really simple you just come down to your features and you click here and you can select it in two different ways you can either select it by clicking on the, the visual element of the feature so you see we've got that or you can use the drop down here and you just select the cut extrude in the history tree and there you go, it's done all 10 bolts, you say OK, and there you have it. So uh, like or subscribe, um, more tutorials about circular patterns to come. Yeah.